hey guys welcome or welcome back to epicartdesigns.com if you are not subscribed make sure that you subscribe to our channel to see more videos like this on today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to make a gravesite funeral card but before we get started i did want to let you guys know that we just came out with this graphic bundle um it has all the elements that i'm using in this video and in previous videos from clouds to flowers to doves to roses all that is in there so go ahead and check that out with the link in the description also stay tuned for the end because i'm going to be showing you guys how we get rid of our borders i know a lot of people have questions on that and i'm going to be taking you guys through our printing process so without further ado let's go ahead and get started so guys of course we're going to start with um the de the design so this canvas size is 8.5 by 11 inches um this is the paper i'm going to be printing on so this is the size that i'm doing the canvas um if you're diff printing on a different size paper just make sure that you size your canvas accordingly um so we're going to talk about top five things to remember when you're designing any type of keepsake um like on a paper i would say more more so on a paper uh yeah so first thing is never design too close to the edge and this is very helpful if you are sending it to someone to print or you're just printing it for yourself I see so many funeral programs where um, like the words is literally touching the edge of the booklet and it's very difficult for us to print like that because something is going to get cut off. So just keep that in mind. So when I was designing this guys I kind of had a vision and the color is going to change because I felt like the color was just too dull. Um, yeah, cause I didn't, when it prints, I kind of think about when I print it and it was definitely not going to look right. So I ended up changing the color to a brighter blue. Um, but yeah, so I had this vision of kind of doing all the photos up at the top, like maybe a collage and then having everything at the bottom. And it actually came out really good. Um, by the way, if you want to see a blending tutorial, go ahead and check out my other videos. They are on our YouTube channel. Also, feel free to join our Patreon if you just want a real in-depth tutorial on blending or basically anything. We have everything on there, our printer suppliers, papers, all that good stuff. So go ahead and check that out as well. And I also get questions on how I know what layout um, to like do or how to lay things out. So basically, I just put basic information on the front cover. So I have the, like, the um, title, maybe In Love or Memory or Celebration of Life. And then I have the full name, whether it's just the first and last name or it's the first, la first, middle, and last name. And then the birth and death date, of course. And sometimes the family would want the funeral location on the front, but most times it's in the back. And then, of course, like the funeral um, day will be on the front as well. So I just make sure I include that and then anything from there. Uh, it's like kind of extra and here are some tips if you just want to spice up your design so for the first thing if I want to spice up a design what I would do is I kind of have the um the first letter of the name like cursive as you see right here and then the rest be just in regular like basic script font yeah so that's what I do I'll add like light flick flicks or flares um roses you can add doves all that I try to make it like overly busy and then if I feel like it's too busy I could just take things out that's really how I go about it and then guys my number one go-to for just like if I feel like a design is way too bland in a certain spot is I'll get um bokeh so you'll see me add it but it's basically just like um the little transparent circles that's also included in the graphic pack so make sure that you check that out but yeah i will add those and it just brings the design to life like it's just it becomes way better and then you will see me opening other designs to get kind of like the text out because i didn't feel like retyping everything over also the fonts that i'm using for this is Sinzel um and slope script pro those are the fonts that I use for those so yeah and guys I can't stress this is enough but please 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 make sure that you are using high quality elements um whether it's like their pictures so sometimes we have people who come in with very blurry pictures and we like let them know like we don't edit the pictures like this picture is poor quality so it's gonna look kind of off and weird with the design um maybe is there, there a better picture just go about it like that but just make sure that everything you use is high quality because at the end of the, the at the end of the day when you print it 
and you see like the pixelation on it and like how pics it just it looks horrible so yeah just make sure that you guys are using high quality graphics and elements and you should be okay and then as you guys saw i added the bokeh which are those little circles they kind of look like light flicks i'm not sure but yeah those what i added. that's what i always like to add if my design looks kind of weird so we're gonna go ahead and get started with the back of our um frontal car and when i say frontal car it's really not limited to be a frontal car this can really be a flyer for uh like a graveside announcement flyer it could be a thank you card um things like that so it's very versatile but i'm gonna go ahead and let you guys finish watching me design this if you have any questions please leave them down below and i will catch you at the end of the video Okay, so now that we are done, we're going to go ahead and get to printing this. So I am using, I'm just showing you guys the paper I'm using, which is glossy paper. Um, for paper suppliers and the printers that we use, check out our Patreon. Um, so let's talk about these borders because I get a lot of questions on these. So just know that even if you are designed like on your canvas, like you don't have any borders on there most likely it's going to print with borders because you need to have a printer that has the capabilities to print borderless so in our case our printer doesn't print borderless so you have two solutions that you can do you can either invest in a printer that prints borderless that prints all the way to the edge or you can just cut the borders off by hand i really can't tell you guys which one is better because some stuff works for other people and some stuff might not. It depends. It all depends on your budget, um, your time span of how you want to do things. It's all really up to you. But I'm just going to show you guys this without the borders. And as you can see, it looks so much better without the borders. I personally like to cut the borders off just because um, I don't like how the white looks on there. But it's all up to you. You don't have to do this. You can charge extra if you are cutting the borders off for you, your customers. Um, and you can just leave them all because some people don't mind borders being on there. Anyways, that's all for today's video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed. Don't forget if you have any questions, please leave them down below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. And make sure that you subscribe to our channel to see more tutorials like this. Also, guys. Check out our graphic pack. It includes all these all the funeral program graphics that you need to start designing your funeral program. Click the link in the description to purchase yours, and I will see you on the next video. Mm -hmm.